Hi and welcome to tutorial 73 in the series of tutorials and programs that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. Uh, one of the members of uh, GoldPass had asked me for a simple tutorial as to how, and f how to find the highest and the lowest bar between two specific times. Now I've done things similar to this in the past, uh, notably tutorial 68, but what I wanted to do here is make this really simple so that uh, someone who's fairly new to easy language programming would be able to follow it. So what we're doing is we're looking in this particular case at the highest and the lowest times between 8 and 10 and then as soon as that um, time has elapsed we then draw those lines on the chart and we could just go back and see um, the same things happening over the course of the chart. So um, I've already created this. What I'm going to do is just recreate it to show you the steps that I that I go through. So first of all we're going to need a couple of inputs. These are going to be the start and the end time and uh, just going to call them start time and end time. So type those in. Set them as uh, 0, 08 like so and we're going to have an end time as well. And uh, we'll set that at 10. Of course, we can change this when we apply the program to the chart. And uh, I'm going to need a few variables. And uh, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to have a value called period high. It's going to set a 0. And uh, let me just spell that correctly. Because we need to reset this at some point, what I'm going to do is also create another variable called last period high. And uh, also going to set that to zero. And uh, I think what we'll do to start with is just, just look at the highest um, high within a time period. Then we'll go and look at the, uh, the lows as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a little if then statement. And uh, the way that we do that is we say if time is greater or equal to the start time and time is less than or equal to the end time, in other words time is between or equal to those two times, then begin. I'm going to say if high is greater than period high, then period high equals h. So what that's saying is as we go through each of those bars, if we find a high that is higher than the period high that we've already found, then that becomes the period high. And uh, we're going to say end. Now what we're going to do is, at the end of the, uh, the time period, we're going to say if time is greater than end time, and time last bar, which we can do by putting one in square brackets, is less than or equal to end time. So what we're saying is that the uh, we're, we're after the time period now, but the previous bar was actually in that time period the uh, time we were evaluating, then begin. And uh, what we're going to do is say last period high equals period high. So we're setting Uh, this variable last period high to be equal to the period high that we just found and uh, 
Then what we're going to do is we're just going to reset the period high. to zero, like so, and I'm going to close that begin end statement, like so. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to plot the last period high. So I'm going to say plot one last period high. Now I noticed I've spelt the uh, variable a little bit different so I'm just going to change that to what we've used in the program and let's just verify that see if we've made any mistakes in the syntax and uh, doesn't look like we have so it's already applied to the chart and let's just have a look and see if uh, if this looks like it's working so we're looking at, if we go back to the uh, inputs, we're looking between 8 and 10, including those times. So if we just look here, for instance, um, what is the highest value between 8 and 10? It looks like it's this bar here, which is 1250.50. And uh, if we look at the actual line there, you'll see it's, uh, I'm sorry, it looks like the highest between is 1, 2, um, 55.50 five, and then if you look at the orange line you'll see it's 1.255.50 so let's just uh, go back and have a look at a few other examples just to make sure this is working correctly okay so this one here looks like the highest is actually on the 8 o'clock bar 1250.50 and uh, indeed that seems to be working there and then ideally we just check an example where the highest bar is actually at the uh, the 10 o'clock bar and uh, so I found uh, an example here if we look at the uh, the 10 o'clock bar um, you'll see that the high is 1253 and then uh, we'll look here we'll see 1253 so it looks like the uh, the high is working there for us so let's go back into the program and now we're going to look at the low now going to need another couple of variables here and uh, what I'm going to do is just copy these save some time and we'll just change the uh, the high to low like so and now one of the the things here that people often make mistakes with is we can't set these initially as zero because we're going to see if we can find a number less than this number we're not going to find a number less than zero so we're going to put in an arbitrary higher number which I've just chosen as uh, three nines or rather six nines and uh, what we're going to do is just similar to this syntax we're, we're now going to say if low is less than period low I'm just going to copy this then period low equals low in other words if we find a value that's less than the value already stored in period low then that becomes the the period low and then what we're going to do here is let me just uh, copy these and I'll just change from high to low so we're going to say last period low is equal to period low and period low we need to set to a high number so that when we do that comparison if there is a number that is lower then we uh, we change it to the lower number and we're going to change this to plot 2 and we're going to put in last period low like so so let's just uh, verify that looks like that's good so let's just go and refresh the chart now you see it's plotting in a sort of dark blue color which is difficult to see against the uh, the background so I'm just going to change that to white like so 
And uh, what we should see now is that between the 8 and 10, we're getting the lowest value of that time, and we're plotting that until the, uh, the next time period elapses. Anyway, um, that is a very, very simple uh, program that just demonstrates how you can find the uh, highest price and the lowest price within a specified time period. I hope uh, that might be useful to you. Thank you.